been waiting, Reen. That <laughs> sussy fucker voice. Give me the dirt. So, we're gonna beat up on these stupid animals. It's down. Bullying these little creatures. Bully the crap out of Let's them. Go. Bully time. Go. Near Come one on shots. Turn. Freaking crop monsters. Stop. Die. Rip you. <laughs> now. <laughs> we bully. We run. No, we're not running from them. Why would Focus we run activate. from those? Those little creatures. Those little raccoons. <laughs> you ain't run from no <laughs> raccoons. Now. Get out of here. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> train more. I'm taking my frustrations out on these animals. Hito would not stop me from obliterating you all. Yeah. Screw you, PETA. You're weak. PETA, we have to make you mad. <laughs> it's down. You mad, PETA? An opening. <laughs> my turn. You mad, PETA? You don't like what I'm doing? Yes, it, obliterate him. <laughs> Crush you. Yes. We kill beetles out here. Flying beetles. Perish. Look at the perish, yes. Oh yeah, there's the there's the uh monster ox, right? You don't wanna mess with me, you heifer. Ah! I told you you don't no wanna mess Ooh, it's a lot of them. Oh no. Uh uh. No. There's <laughs> a lot of them. You know what? We're going to test this Sneaking out. Start. And Paige? <sighs> Why are you mad? I'll handle this. Why are you mad, man? We're going to use uh, Iron Will Formation, man. Forma! Iron Will Formation! We're we going to go. beef up their defense. And we're going to beat the living daylights out of all of us. You know what? We're gonna do that to you, 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 you. you. Nice. It's off balance. Hey, what's it's up, okay. Dino? Figured I'd get a quick stream in before I had to go to work. My this turn. is gonna get obnoxious. You know what? Should I go over there? You know what? Frick. You know what? I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this because this is actually pretty bad. No, you know what? We sweeping. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Now. The tree is in a freaking way. Keep it up. How you doing, though, no, Dino? Oh, boy. I'm up. Okay. How are we going to deal with this situation? We're going to do one of these. We need to impede, though. No, we ain't letting you do that. Crimson Slash! No. Turn that off. There's a lot of them, man. Yeah. They, they took my points. I don't appreciate that. You know what? I don't want to waste all my CP that I built up, though. But you Ring know what? The night. Let's go ahead and do it. They need to get shaken up real nice. Ooh, and shaken, not stirred. Ouch. Dagnabbit. They rampaging. Got it. Okay, it's time to go in. Um. Let's go. Dang, boy. Dang. Fee is ridiculous in this game, dude. What the fudge? Well, we hit cows. Turn. turn you into grade A beef. Oh boy. They want to delay the inevitable. Got it. Go ahead and pierce. Them. Yes. Now. Speed down. Elliot, Rush. Me. Yeah. Whoop the Buddha. Nice. Nothing you can do, Cal. My turn. You know, you gotta heal Laura, though, my dude. 
help Laura out because she tight quite a bit. He did too. Let's go. Oh, cheeks get clapped. Cheeks get clapped. It's off balance. Let's get that BP back up. Let's go. Help Thank out, you. Elliot. You've Let's been go. chilling. Hey, that's what's up. Now. That's what's up, man. Rush. Elliot, with me. Go in. Yeah. Oh. Gotta heal up that, uh, get that. Dang. It does take a little longer to build that CP now. back up. Insta break, huh? We break you. My turn. We break people. Now. Build that BP up. up. Let's go. Easy clap. Yeah. It's down. An opening. Yeah, it's done. Just what I expect from you, Laura. Now they did say to the left. So we're gonna go to the left. Take it back, yeah, y'all. Dang. Look at that, man. Dang. That's a huge bunch. <laughs> Too bad I can't use that command over here. Oh man. Huh, Drakner Fortress. We're here at last. Yeah, it took me a long time too. The only Imperial Army base that can match Gorelia Fortress. My father has visited here several times to give instruction in martial arts. Okay, let's head in. If my dad's here, I'm sure he'll listen to us. Yeah, we need to ask the gatekeeper to send a message for us. And then he gonna be like, you shall not pass. Uh, probably just gonna wind up being, I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna warn y'all. I'm gonna be going in hard. Hot. And heavy. On Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> wow, it's enormous up close. It has a much more dignified appearance than I had heard. Yep, definitely just as big as Gorelia Fortress. You there. What business do you have here? Yeah, I knew someone was gonna have an attitude. What? Look at this guy. Excuse me, we... Wait, that voice. Wolverine? Oh! What are you doing here? Okay, it's one of the students. <laughs> I can say the same to you. Are you part of fourth now? Um, yeah, you know them. Oh, wow. You're all from class seven. They celebs now, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Long time no see. Do you remember me? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, oh, that dude. Now I remember. I can, okay. Oh, you were part of the fencing club. Alan? I'm guessing that's someone like Alan. Dang, dude, Lord glow Officer it up. Alan of the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. Dang, okay. He glowed up. <laughs> Been a while, everyone. Dude glowed up. He used to be weak, and now he's strong. Part of the 4th Division, yeah! Oh, boy. Oh, man. Dang, dude. Look at all the chrome, boy. Blazing chrome. Let's freaking go. Look at that, man. Yo. Dang, they definitely geared up. This is amazing. Not only do you have your main tank unit here, there are so many new pincer soldats. Huh, look over there. Ah, oh, that big one is... Yeah, the one V from the Imperial Liberation Front was using. The Noble Alliance's trump card? I never expected to see that here. Yeah. But all these weapons. Hey, is that the General's son over there? Yeah, maybe he decided to stop by on his tour. Hold on. 
Is that the Ashen Chevalier with him? Oh man, it is him! Oh, celeb status. Salutes! They like, they know what's up, man. Yeah. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect on his name! Oh man. Should've guessed they'd spot you right off the bat. <laughs> you the man! People are still talking about the heroic exploits of Reen and Valmar. Sorry about that. Maybe I should have taken you through the back door. <laughs> this man is too humble, man. Humble is humble pie. No, don't worry about it. It's like you guys are literally getting a taste of videos live, baby. Anyway, I knew you joined the liberal army. I mean, I said liberal. Imperial army, freaking dummy. But I had no idea you'd make it into the 4th Armed Division. It's the most powerful division in the entire army. The training must be extremely tough. Yeah, he he got some muscles now, man. <laughs> yeah, by the end of the day, I'm always completely wiped out. But I don't regret it at all. I want to keep the Empire safe. It's where she lives, after all. <laughs> a man's honor, is it? Yeah, Pug gives you that kind of motivation, man. <laughs> oh, that's right. You and Bridget got engaged after graduation, didn't you? Dang, they tied the knot. What? For real? Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. It was a bit sappy, but so worth it. You're here. Yes. It's the homie. Sir. Yo, he cleaned up his cut. Like a cut, G. Schwarzer. Young master. Yo. Clausel as well, of course. Yeah, it's freaking, um. Hello, sir. Hey. Yeah, hey. <laughs> you really don't have to call me that, you know. <laughs> Yo. I forgot his name already. What's wrong with me? Yeah, Night Art. Dang. He got rid of the Same Cloud Strife head. It's like I've gone back to Thor's. He no longer looks like Cloud. <laughs> He's like everyone called him a Cloud wannabe, so he ditched the haircut, bro. Hmm. Actually, I take that back. <sighs> You've grown into fine young men and women. Yes, they did. It makes me proud to be able to say I was one of your instructors. Yo. Thank you, sir. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> The general is waiting. <laughs> I'll guide you from here. I laugh, man. Good work, soldier. Sir! Dang, boy. It's good to see Night Art again. I st they still didn't show Gaius, though. I wonder what happened to him. General, they have arrived. Yeah, bet you did. Come in. Bet you did love that fork knife stream. <laughs> Go hug Elliot. Day, you do look a little older than last time. Go hug Elliot, man. Go ahead. Embarrass Elliot. He always strikes me as such an authoritative man in person. Me too. And I'm sure he's become more so since his promotion. I bet. No. No, he ain't that stern. Watch he wanted to bundle of joy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no need for that. We'd like to cut right to the chase. We didn't change. Not one bit. He didn't change one bit. Oh my god. And you've become a true man, son. Oh boy. Does a father's heart good to see? Oh. Man. Every time, like clockwork. Exactly. Yeah, but Elliot's really perfected dodging it. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not easy In to spot. Event, it may be unwise to have you here, given our positions, but I nonetheless welcome you. Yeah. <laughs> Bad situation. Do you mean? It seems you're already aware why we've come. Of course. 
The primary hmm. duty of this fortress is to maintain order in the southern half of the Empire. I suspect I'll be unable to help. But please, spare no detail. <laughs> oh yes, one of my favorite themes. We're already well aware of the Society's recent movements. However, there are no plans for the 4th Armed Division to take direct action at the moment. Even if it were a request from you, Dad. So it's just as Major um, um, Arundale said, all you're allowed to do is watch. Huh, I don't get it. There's no way the Imperial Army can just let a bunch of Arcasms stomp around the countryside, right? Well, I was pondering why that was the case on the way here, actually. With the power of this fortress has it as, um, with the power of this fortress has it its disposal. What's up, Ali? It would take less than half a day to stop the society's advances. But the reason the army staunchly refuses to make a move. Ah. Uh, hmm, let's hear this. The Imperial Army. No. The Imperial Army's uh, <laughs> Imperial government is waiting, isn't it? Waiting for the nobles to finally give up. Hmm. The nobles to finally give up? Hey, glad you're doing good, Ali. Oh. Hmm. So that's what it is. Though they're still hanging on, the provincial armies have been shrinking lately. And if a crisis were to happen now, the government would be able to assert the provincial armies um, have no merit. Then they would be able to discount the merits of General Aurelia and the others who dirtied their hands in the Northern War. Ooh. Dang. Finally, the public would start to question the entire, the entire noble power structure. Dad, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Nightart, are you both okay with this? Well, we know. Though we fought each other in the Civil War, the provincial armies are still our fellow protectors of Erebonia. Standing by doing nothing while they are in the midst of a crisis injures our pride as soldiers. Dang. It's Ali! <laughs> However, wounded through our pride may be, we remain bound to the chain of command. His Majesty and the Imperial Government hold supreme command of the army. We cannot go against their decision and act on our own. Dang. Yeah, they want to punish the nobles for all the chaos they caused. Uh, well, yo, there was a part in the stream that I did for this segment, and it just streamed just that, just like that. So I'm out here um, trying to get that piece of the story that I was missing. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. I'm just kind of like gone so move out of my way ah no feet my turn you won't let me go we must fall back no we would not fall back what do you mean we clap them cheeks we clap everyone well that does make sense but i'm still not convinced then what of offering support with information Surely you have an idea where the society has built its base. That's... We have our guesses, of course. However, we are not currently at liberty to divulge that information. Mm. But you can't even do that much? No. There's more to it, isn't there? Ooh, caught on, huh? What makes you say that? The Imperial government... No, Chancellor Osborne has his own plans. However, Lord Hidearms, the current head of the Sutherland, is known to be a moderate. 
Currently, he's organizing the Imperial Provincial Council and is working with the Imperial government through his majesty, the Emperor. I don't see how backing him into a corner benefits the government. Hmm. So there must be some other reason. A reason that would prevent both the Imperial Army and the Provincial Army from taking action against the society. Perhaps some circumstance unique to Sutherland? Dang. I'm surprised how knowledgeable you've become. Now that you mention it, I have felt like something's been off the whole time we've been here. Not just with the general, Toval and I get too. What? That's... Yeah, the incident. It seems I underestimated you, Ashen Chevalier. I suppose following the government's orders for a year has given you greater insight? It is true that I've seen both sides of a number of incidents. This old yet changing empire is full of contradictions and conflicts, but it's everything I learned being part of Class 7 that has expanded my view the most. So please, show us, show us the path ahead. Not for the sake of the government's orders to the Ashen Chevalier, but so we can become the foundation of the world as Thor's Class 7. Hey, Swords it. We feel the same. Indeed, even if the way ahead is clouded with doubt and hesitation of others. As a member of Class 7, as Reed's friend, and as a musician, I'll play a melody that will lift the doubt and hesitation and clear the way, my dude, Elliot. Tell you, man. Dope. Now that I think about it, it's been two years since I first met the rest of you. The way my dear sweet Elliot has grown over the course of those years brings a tear to my eye. But it seems the rest of you have grown has grown to be just as strong and dazzling in that time. I agree. Very well, I shall show you the path you seek. Night art, bring me a pen and paper. Yes. Bring me a pen and paper! Dad. Thank you so much, General. No, there's no need for gratitude. Consider this my apology for being so cowardly as to allow myself to be tied down like that. Oh, oh. man. I still have a long way to go compared to General Van Dyke and him. Hmm. General, here you are. Yes, thank you. The place the society has most likely built their base. That place is part of a national secret that goes up to the highest levels of the Empire. Entering requires permission from the two top authority figures in the Sutherland province. Dang, a national secret? Hmm. This paper is written proof you have my permission as Olaf Craig, commander of Drakner Fortress. Take this and visit the other authority figure in St. Art. Marquise High Arms, overseer of the Sutherland province. Let's freaking go! Phew, morning practice is finally done. Man, I'm starving. Looks like everyone is getting back to their routines. Huh, Tita, we're going to go on ahead. Oh, that's fine. Go and get something to eat. Hey, time for lunch yet? There he is. Uh, uh, Agate. Agate? Wow. Agate. Is it really you? I can't get over how freaking Utah was voice actors. Freak. I look like I'm anyone else. It. I've been a few weeks now. Oh. Have you gotten settled in here? Who tell just has a great voice. <laughs> yes. Everyone here is so nice. Dang it. But what are you doing here? Dang oh, yeah. it. 
<laughs> stop by to see how you were doing and I'm take care of an I'm freaking errand. dead. Uh, seems like yesterday got pretty crazy. I just lose my spit Sorry every time I now. hear hotel. Oh, head Hi. pet time. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. You're always with me. Right here. Oh, dang. Are they like an item or something? Or this is a brother-sister thing? Crying out loud. Him and his head pets. Oh, you're... Dang, he took over Reen's job as king of head pets. <laughs> is he a friend of yours, Tita? Um... Well, I'm sort of like her guardian. Guardian? Anyway, I was in the area for work, so I stopped by to say hi. Work, huh? Guessing it was some sort of supporting gauntlet type stuff. Oh, so that means you're Fee and Reen's... Halloween? Halloween's been over. Man, I guess the other instructors here are just as sharp as Swarzer. Since you're here, mind telling me what all went down yesterday? I'm a bracer from LaBarrel. Bad garment. <laughs> oh. Hey guys. Uh oh. Here you go, Kurt. The other one's for you, Allie. Hey. Thank New you. class seven. Poor Kurt, suffering from depression. That emotional Thanks. damage. Um, out of curiosity, what is an alley? <laughs> hmm? What is an oh, alley? Oh, <laughs> I just shortened your name a little. It's easier if I call you that. You like it? <sighs> You've started acting like her too now. <laughs> a million. Well, I don't care. Call me whatever you like. You don't want to say that. <laughs> really? Ali it is then. Oh boy. While we're at it, how about you, Kur- Huh? He's depressed. Where are you going? Wait, you're not- Don't worry, I'm just going to train. Dang, Kurt is salty Though I may as lack close. skill and resolve, I'm still not foolish enough to go out on my own. Dang. Hey. He taking that hard. Just because he said that doesn't mean Uh oh. I'm fine. Dang. I know he did it to keep us out of danger. Oh dang. It's too much for us. No, for me to handle. What he said wasn't wrong. Dang. Kurt. I still feel pathetic, though. But this is simply because I'm not good enough as I am now. Oh, dang. He's determined. All I can do is accept it and let it fuel me for next time. Provided there is a next time. Dang. He is not playing. <sighs> Boys are so bad at this sort of thing. <laughs> uh-huh. He's like, cry on my shoulder. Listen, Kurt. I get that you want to sound all tough and grown up and talk about how you accept the way things are. But the look on your face is telling me a different story. Oh, she read his mind. What's wrong with just saying, I'm frustrated I got left behind? Dang. No one should be okay with being tossed aside like that. Dang. Me and Allie feel the same way. I do not know if I would call it frustrating, but generally speaking, I share the opinion. I've supported Instructor Reen in his missions over the past year. Though I am technically a student now, I remain unconvinced it was a good reason for excluding me. Oh. I see. So that was what was going on between you two? <sighs> that heartless jerk! How dare he do that to a cute little girl like you? Oh. <laughs> I know all that. Oh, I Yuna do. cares about her friends. Kurt, 
The only one who can decide your path as a member of the Vander family is you. Facts. Perhaps enrolling at the branch campus will help you find your way. But even so, what am I supposed to do? Nothing will change the fact that I was left behind for being too immature. Dang. You taking that spit really hard. Kurt. Oh. Well, you won't know until you take action, right? Uh-oh. If there's something you aren't happy with, then do something about it. Dang, Yuna's being a leader. She's Even stepping if it up. it seems impossible, you just need to struggle and struggle and keep struggling until you overcome it. Dang, why does this sound like Naruto right now? That's what all the people I respect and admire do. Dang. Huh? <laughs> Dang. You know what? Being told I'm a burden by someone who's only known me a month kind of pisses me off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's show him just of. how wrong he was about us. Uh-oh. The two of us are with you. Right, Allie? Wait a minute. I have no reason to object. My current mission is to support Class 7. Wait, so is it's this switching all over to them? Or, at the very least, refreshingly blunt. <laughs> Judging by the way you were talking, I assume you have a plan, yes? No plan. We'll need to figure out a way to catch up to Instructor Reen, and how we can help after that. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, d do I have a plan? She didn't have a plan. <laughs> uh, well, uh... She didn't have one. Do, no, you don't. Don't? You don't have a plan, just say it. <laughs> <laughs> was all of that said without a plan? Yep. She's just has words of inspiration. I'm quite impressed, actually. Sh shut up. <laughs> we just need to come up with something together. <laughs> You're right. It won't be easy, though. <laughs> I'm so glad the three of you seem to be feeling better. Uh, I feel like Muse is moving this along. Is that it? Yep. Oh boy. I think she's gonna nudge this situation. Is she joining the party? You're from class nine, right? Muse, was it? Is there something we can help you with? Oh, quite the opposite. You see, I happen to overhear a little something. Uh oh. And I thought the three of you might be interested in it. Uh, yep, she's nudging things along, like she said. Huh? <laughs> That's what exactly are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I bet boy. good Mira, it's something fun. Oh, now he's getting involved. Oh boy. So this this is how they team up. Is that it? I want in. Oh dang it, he wants in. Yep, this is it. You? Uh oh. Ash, what are you doing here? <laughs> Their face. <laughs> Since we're all here now, let's have ourselves a little chat, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. I was looking at a map of the area when I happened to notice a certain spot. Why they zoom all up and they're wrecked like that, though? I don't understand. That, that camera angle is pointless. Why? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. I look forward to seeing you all again sometime. Thanks, Alan. See you around. Place kept as a national secret. Somewhere that cannot be entered without permission from both the commander of the Imperial Army and the head of the province. Seems like it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, both my dad and the lieutenant colonel had really serious expressions. I think I've got an idea of where it is. Yep. That's it. The place south of Parm, where Laura met up with us yesterday. We didn't investigate any, any further than... Yes, I also find it suspicious. But either way, we must seek permission from Lord High Arms first. 
Then let's head back to St. Art. Thanks for courting us around, you two. No trouble at all. Just leave it to us. All right, let's get going. I've looked over General Craig's message. As the one in charge of overseeing Sutherland, I must take responsibility for the raid on the field ex exercise camp last night. <laughs> it never even occurred to me that they would have been hiding in the, in the one place I have no power. No, it's likely they were able to stay hidden for so long because it was that place. My lord. There's a place in Sutherland your lordship doesn't have power over? Smells like danger. Huh. Would you be able to tell us about it? I mean, we told the general this too, but we're prepared for whatever we might find there. Well, I think just everyone didn't know. I guess the stream just stopped, so... I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, it just happens. I didn't put another notification in, so I don't think that helped anything. After I read this part, I'm probably going to wind up calling it a day anyway, because I need to start getting ready for, uh, start getting ready for work tonight. It's possible you may also have heard of it. The town of Hamel. And what's Hamel? Hamel? No. Not that I can recall. I feel as though I've heard the name from my family members at some point. If I recall correctly, an unfortunate disaster happened there a long time ago. Ooh. I feel like I've heard that too. Was it from the boss? I forgot. Um, south of Parm. There's an abandoned road that has been sealed off. That road once led to a place called Hamel. Uh, so it was that after all. Hmm. When you say once, yes, what's this about? 14 years ago, that village was completely destroyed by a landslide, or so the announcement claimed. Ooh. Immediately afterwards, Erebonia invaded the southern kingdom of Liberal, and the Hundred Days War began. Huh. What? What? He just said what I said. That's... So the Hundred Days War, when the Empire nearly conquered all of Liberal in a matter of weeks. Wait a moment. When you said, or so the announcement claimed, did you mean... Unfortunately, I can't say any more than that. Ooh, Erebonia calls it? I can say this, though. What you're about to uncover is the dark side of the Empire's history. Up, oh, yep, the Empire did something bad. A tragic curse story. A curse? Ooh, the dark side of the Empire's history. Ooh. My apologies. I may have need needlessly confused you. You may hand it over to them now, Celestin. Yes, please take this. Dang. This key can only be given to those with the permission of both a commander of the Imperial Army and the head of the Sutherland Province. I'm sure high-ranking bracers may also know the information you're about to discover. But please, promise me you would not reveal this information to the public. If you do, you may end up being charged with treason. Dang! <laughs> he like go understand. We'll handle this with care. Doors class seven. May the goddess protect you. Please be careful. Amel and, and the Hundred Days War. We got so much unexpected information. Yes. And it was much darker than I expected. So what now? 
We can't wait uh, for to uh, Toval's report. And oh, we can wait for Toval's report. And no, judging by the situation, we don't have much time. Let's report back to the camp and then head the farm. Okay, understood. Oh, okay, the enemy base. We need to be prepared. Oh crap, yeah, I'm probably going to have to grind out now. And I'm not going to repeat no. that. All right, let's see what this looks All right, like. Let's do this. Oh, dang. Yeah, leave it to leave me. It to me. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Dang, they just all it's went in. Turn. Okay, so that's what that no. does. Crap, dude. No. They just yeeted them. <laughs> this is it. 666, six, six, I don't like that. Now. Come on, what is My it with turn. these weird numbers, man? Why they have to hit me with that? My turn. I don't like Six. that. <laughs> An opening. I don't like that, Just man. Come on. You, I believe Dang damn it, dude. They're giving me all these curse numbers. Okay. I think it's time to see what Fee got. Lethal cruise. Let's see what this does. Let's do this. Now. Oh, crap. What? Oh Lord! Did she just say yoink? <laughs> what did she? Now for the finish. Ooh! Oh, that's cool. Dang! 